Alrighty, so, so many thanks for once again hanging out with us uh, right here on Why in the Morning. Welcome back. My name is Brian Sako. You can still continue to plug in on the hashtag Why in the Morning. That is everywhere on all our social media platforms and Y254 channel, personally at Brian Sako 101. And uh, we're going to talk about if you are starting a business back at home, if you have uh, the vision or you have a dream of setting up something meaningful for yourself in terms of matters business, how do you go about it? And just in case you start something, thing how exactly do you get the resources how do you plug in with people and network to a place your business becomes successful and uh, that is uh, matters sustaining a successful business and joining me live in studio with us right now is a powerful gentleman who goes by the name uh, Pinto Pinias or you can call him Pinias or Pinias Mutuma if you like uh, he's also uh, the CEO of Grand Bosmani Ventures and uh, he's also been a model for LCY Kiki as well. And he also has a brand company by name, Kiamo Mensue. Good morning. Good morning to you. Thank you. Welcome to I254. Thank you so much. Um, so privileged to be here. All right. A big thank you. All right. So uh, let's get into it straight up. Um, mm -hmm. Before you got into your to, to this couple of businesses as well, and I love the fact that you're a model as well, mm -hmm. what exactly was going through your mind before you said, hmm, I just want to now start my own business? and be, become my own boss? Because you know, a lot of people say, I have a job, I job, I have a CV, KBC, I have a job, I have a presenter, but I have a job company. Well, I think uh, we all have different desires in life, you know, uh -huh. uh, and for me, my desire is like uh, being free, uh, having that freedom, you know, and uh, as on my end, I thought that uh, that freedom will only come with me running my own stuff, you know, me building my own stuff, you know, and that's why I was like, instead of uh, working for someone, it's yeah. more of let me build uh, something of my own, you know, right. something that I'll majorly put in much okay. effort uh, because I know this is where I want to get that freedom from. Okay. So it was basically more of uh, uh, having that freedom. Right. Yeah. So yours comes from a place like Utaki Kushiko Mateka, Utaki Kwa 8, Ama 7, Ama 6, Ama 5. <laughs> well, well, not really, because right. I think uh, with that comes with a lot of discipline. As well, you know, right, yeah. you, you, you'll have to put in discipline because you know now being uh, working under someone, you're like uh, by eight I need to be there, by six I'll have left, then that's it, you know. So like uh, basically by the end of the month you are assured of. Right. a salary and all a that salary, you know right. but now if you profit exactly but right. now this one if you sleep on it then right. that's it it's yeah. that's it's it for crash. you it has crashed basically, for you basically it's also a demand it's exactly. like uh, to um, and a job here, but yeah. this one is um, yeah. so you, you're your own boss at the same time you're your own employer exactly and employee exactly slash. yeah that's right. it i'm really interested to uh, exactly know the nitty gritties uh, behind uh, grand boss money ventures mm -hmm. that you mentioned is a branding company that deals with all branding services needed yeah so uh, basically, Grand Boss Money Ventures is a branding and clothing business company. Okay. Uh, it more deals with uh, all branding services and needs. Uh -huh. uh, for the clothing part of it, um, we have uh, a, a, a brand uh, merchandise that we are pushing uh, as a company, which is uh, termed like uh, the Hope Feel merchandise. You know, okay. uh, the Hope Feel merchandise is part of uh, Grand Boss Money Ventures. So okay. we get to design them, uh, then brand them there, then sell them out there. Okay. Uh, these Hope Feel merchandise are called uh, the God is Working on Me merchandise. Wow, that's yeah. a powerful name. Yeah. So, uh, How did you come up with that? <laughs> God is Working on Me. Yeah. So uh, God is Working on Me, uh, uh, it's an inspiration from my spiritual dad, uh, Bishop Alan Kuna. Uh, there's a there's a sermon he taught uh, about, and it was so so uh, powerful. Uh -huh. And with our business, is more of you visualize, we actualize. You right. know, so uh, that uh, that mess that sermon really spoke to me. You know, right. uh -huh. and I was like, you know what? I'm I, gonna run with this. I'm gonna <laughs> run with this. You know, and it has really made a great impact uh, to the world out there. Right. Yeah. Amazing. Now, before you even settled to that, are there things that maybe you perhaps considered 
to you know visualize because you mentioned of you visualize and then you actualize yeah. are there things that you considered in terms of uh, if i start this branding business um what is the what is my target market who are my immediate clients as well who are my competitors did you ever like come up with such a conversation with yourself or maybe had friends you sat together and said if i start this bosmani ventures then these are main clients and what is the exactly criteria that maybe you used to get up to that spot and now you got established as a business well uh one thing for sure i can say uh there are so many people out here doing branding you know okay. there is a uh, quite a countable number of people doing branding and all that you know uh i think it's uh just a matter of uh thinking differently uh -huh. and uh, trying to uh, try to identify a problem into the market uh -huh. and now coming out with a solution, you know. Okay. And that's why I've measured like uh, Grand Bosmani Ventures is more of branding and a cloth line, you know. Okay. So basically the cloth line part of it that you are pushing is the hope filled merchandise God is working on me. Okay. And the branding part of it, we, 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 we've been looking forward to work more with corporates. Okay. You know, so we've been looking more uh, to work with corporates and that's uh -huh. why we've been literally reaching out to different corporates here and there. Right. Yeah. So uh, as much as uh, we have any other branding uh, companies and all that, our main aim is to build up uh, to have like an identity, you know. Okay. Uh, first, our identity comes in with the clothesline brand, uh, okay. the, go, the hope feel God is working on me merchandise, uh -huh. then the branding more into the corporates and okay. uh, I think that's all. Right, interesting. Because uh, I, I, I feel like before you start something for yourself, you must mm -hmm. give it like a symbol and I love the fact that you know you have the whole field sign now. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, in, in terms of networking, who are some of the people that you're working with in the market that you can mention as well, that you'll say the moment I connected with this person or this brand, we rose up and business-wise, these are like our support system. Okay. Right. Ah, wow, 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 wow. I'll say, I'll say God has been faithful because it's literally been one year three months uh like having the grand boss money ventures uh, -huh. uh one major influencer i'll uh, really mention that has been there since like we were two months old uh -huh. is the current mp for langata uh -huh. uh, hon felix odiwar uh, jalango uh -huh. he's uh, really of uh, been of great influence to the brand okay. and i can actually say uh like where we are is also because of him okay. he's uh having influenced ourselves with his brand okay. has really been a great boost to right. uh the company okay. and he's been also so 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 much supportive, supportive. yeah uh, -huh. uh we actually did all uh, all his uh campaign merchandise from the first merchandise uh -huh. up to the last merchandise and um Apart from that, he's also introduced uh, the company into uh, his circle, his influence, right. and uh, considering so able to, you to know, network even more and all that, you know. The big uh, shots, yeah, right. exactly. And now, considering he's now the current MP uh, right. for Langata, uh -huh. uh, we're looking forward to also even work uh, in greater heights and uh, greater spaces. Right. Yeah. And I can see there's a photo with you with Kamene Goro and Jalas as well. Yeah. Uh, this should be at Kiss FM, right? Yeah, this is at Kiss FM. Okay. Now, these are the Hope Feel uh, God is Working on Me merchandise that I was okay. talking about. Uh, okay. This was uh, when they... It was actually last year when uh -huh. we were actually... Um, uh, I was actually delivering them to, to Kamene and Jalas. Okay. So, that was... That was that like... It was like an amazing highlight. And I love the fact that you said God is faithful. Yeah, God yeah. has really been faithful. Not everyone can actually get such easy support or such an amazing uh, massive support from, you know, such a big shot like Jalas. Yeah. And for anybody who's watching back at home and maybe they are stuck at a place of hopelessness, they're trying to start a business, but they're not seeing the signs of the business coming to fruition or it being stable. Mm -hmm. Like the more and I pump in the money, the resources, the stock in what exactly should should be that one thing that they should hold on to to make them stay afloat business wise? Uh I think um one of the best things we can sell of as human beings it's hope. Okay. You know? Uh if we can even use an example of uh Jalango, you know. 
Yeah. Uh, looking where he is now and right. uh, where he was back then. I guess most of us uh, know his story and all that, you know. Right. So he, he's, he's a common fisherman from the village, you know. Right. And looking where he is now, it's like a total different space and all that, you know. Yeah. So the reason I'm saying one of the best things we can sell of as human beings is hope. You know, okay. like yeah. there's someone who is uh, actually at a state where he was back then, Absolutely. you know. Mm -hmm. So what awakens his or her hope is like seeing where he, he is, he is now. now, you know. And so like literally that is. awakens your hope, you know. Right. And then one thing with uh, greatness, if you don't believe you're destined for greatness, mm -hmm. then you are not. Huh, so first thing, crazy. you have to also believe in yourself. Believe like, you fast. know what? Yeah. I, I, I believe that I'm going to run a, a very a successful business, a, a very successful business and all that. You know. Exactly. You know, right. and once you've believed in that right. each and every day, you'll always be doing something towards to that watch, goal. That. <laughs> you know, so but, oh, mini to nonenda kuomba, nonenda kulama. You, like yeah. prayers don't <laughs> work like that. You have to right. put in uh, work into those prayers, you know. Yeah. So uh another thing like also get to have a plan mm -hmm. you know a business plan exactly right. get to have a plan and okay. get to know how you'll want to uh be give yourself uh short-term goals long-term goals mid-term goals right. and i think with that everything will start like running uh successfully yeah. and above all like always involve god in whatever you do and all that amen yeah now Personally, for your businesses, how do you stay afloat? Because right now, when uh, I love the fact that your business you started when at least the pandemic was almost ending. Was it in the uh, middle of a, It was actually when pandemic? it was ending, ending. Ending. But now the ideal started when <laughs> COVID was when like, COVID was, yeah, was it? like. Uh, so it's like you never experienced the hard effects of COVID. Ah, uh, uh, no, no, I'll say yeah. not really. You, you'd say you're like on the safer side. Exactly. Now, how do you stay afloat business-wise? Because I know there are challenges in every company. Yes. Every business has a challenge, financial, be it employees or employer-wise, and even just, you know, trying to maintain that stable spot. How do you stay afloat and uh, become successful? And I can see right there you have your page. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been shown on the screen. The Ground Boys Mami Business. I can see you're, you're also digital as well, right? <laughs> you have the page on Instagram. Actually, uh, now, uh, uh, digital is the current uh, big thing, you okay. know, because I can say most of my, most of my clientele are actually from uh, the social media platforms and all that. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe to answer to your uh, question, I'd say like uh, it's, it's been more of uh, having uh, a close support system. Okay. Well, when I, when I talk of a close support system, it's whereby you have friends around you that be also believe in you, okay. you know, because literally they've seen where you've come from and all that, you know. Right. So uh, they'll rather... They'll rather purchase something from you, from you right like and borrow for free <laughs> exactly just to motivate <laughs> to you motivate you know right. you know yeah. that time you're like wow my business is currently not yeah. doing good and all that you know okay. and then just to give you hope is like you know what yeah i'll buy this you know yeah. uh even if i don't need it <laughs> exactly you know and right. from him or her buying it it's he also tries to sell the idea to someone else and uh, right. and uh also to his um to his to the people around him right so i'll say i'll say uh, one thing i'll just say it's been favor right. i can say it's been favor from god you know amen <laughs> uh and like him connecting me also with some great influencers has right. like put me on top on the there map, right. i wouldn't say I'm, I'm i'm yet where i want to be but right. i can say i've been you've made strides yeah you've absolutely made exactly strides yeah that are remarkable yes right because you know it's not easy, like we said, to, you know, just start something in a year. Yeah. And then, all of and a then sudden you have, yeah. you know, celebs. You exactly. Know, big shots shouting you out, recording videos with you. Yeah. Now, uh, in, terms of, uh, in terms of imaging, mm -hmm. um, I once attended Caroline Toko's class where she was talking about even personal visibility for a career or yeah. even as a brand and even products as well. A startup business. She, she was very uh, instrumental on SMEs. And she was saying the first people see when they come across your product should be a representation of that image. So okay. the first thing they see should actually make them memorable. Mm -hmm. Like remember that product mm -hmm. for you. Uh, wh what are some of the things that you've put together that make your brand memorable? 
to your clients. That you'd say, mm -hmm. once you see this, just know that this is by Pinias. <laughs> well, 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 well. Uh, our, our, our work is more of uh, the design. Okay. It's more of playing with the design. You okay. know, this like includes colors or graphics. Graphics also, okay. how you also play around with colors. You know, uh -huh. like if I may use an example of the God is working on me. You're saying okay. there's some with black, some with white, some with glittering, and all that. You know, uh -huh. so uh, I think I'll say it's more of playing around with uh, the graphics and the colors. Okay, and uh, like. Uh, more of uh, having an identity like for us as grand boss money ventures okay. as much as we're into the branding uh industry and all that okay one of our identity i can call it off like even if someone walks out there and see our brand uh -huh. will be the god is working on me merchandise, merchandise like does it have like a, a sign you know i've seen sign, i've seen cars like tesla they have like a t in a t uh T Tesla is still literally. Mm -hmm. that's, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Even Mercedes brand is like exactly. Uh, Do you have like a casino for now. It uh, it currently doesn't have a sign, okay. but um, believe as time goes by, we'll literally maybe build up something that will like literally make it have a sign. All right. Yeah. But now you're visible on digital as well. Uh -huh. uh, you know, a lot of people don't know even the biggest stars who are discovered on digital, mm -hmm. on social media. Mm -hmm. How important is it to have your business on social media, especially right now? Well, as, as, as I said earlier on, like uh, digital is the next big thing. You know, right. I think uh, so many of us have ventured more into the digital world and all that. Yeah. Now, uh, you'll get quite a good percentage of uh, clients, or clients uh -huh. from the social media and all that. Okay. And then the good thing with the digital, nowadays we're given also an opportunity to like boost our work. Okay. To reach a different, to reach a higher number of clients, all to right. reach a number, uh, a high number of uh, people. Right. So, uh, having been uh, doing that, it gives you a clientele that is even outside your environment right. like i can get even a clientele from outside the country just Absolutely. through the digital platform uh -huh. right yeah and then it also gives uh, one a chance to showcase your different uh, work it's right. easy for me to uh, send someone to my digital uh, platform right. get to see the various work i've done there and all that right yeah uh, there's a question we had asked today on our social media okay. and i'd also love to ask you uh, we had asked uh, if you are to start a small business, where do you think is the best place to get your capital? Capital includes resources, money. Uh, you know, a lot of people usually think capital is a little bit money. Ah, but money is also in there. Okay. Anyways. Like, where is the best, best place to get uh, resources to start your business? For you, where would you say you got your first, 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 like first resource? It could have been money. You know, did somebody uh, bless you with some cash? Did you <laughs> serve? Did you borrow? As, as I've said, like, uh, I thank God that I work, I work in favor, you know. Okay. So, it's an idea I had, you know. Uh, and someone decided to bless me with uh, supporting me uh, start of this business, okay. you know. And uh, he came through and it was just like, this is what I need and need. And uh, he was like, you know what, I'm going to support you to start off this business you know right uh -huh. and well that's what happened to me you know but uh -huh. one thing i'll also suggest to i'll suggest uh in terms of capital right. i think one of the best thing uh, one of the best thing one can start off is savings right like you know your goal okay uh like maybe in 2023 i want to set up maybe a certain business you know what you can start doing is uh, try, 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 uh, start saving up. Right. You know? Once you try saving up, uh, once you've gotten to your goal, you may not have gotten uh, the, uh, the, exact the exact capital you start, you know. You but it will be like you've literally taken a a step. some some steps uh, ahead and all that, you know. And you begin exactly. Right. And then I'd also say uh, build relationships. Right. Build Building relationships, relationships you know, with people. Exactly. You know? It's it's not even more of networking. You know, right. it's 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 one way of me jo uh, knowing uh, Jalango. It's right. another way of me having a relationship with him. 
Right, you know, yeah. a relationship in whereby it it will be of benefit. Like right. once you've uh -huh. built a relationship with even such people, right. it's easy for you to even uh, reach Access out to them. them right? Exactly, and then I'm like, you know what? Uh, this is the deal I have. This is what I have. Mm -hmm. uh, I would love How you can to you help. Exactly, me? Yeah. you know, right. you can even go into uh, various. Uh, uh, insurance company or uh, whatever circles and all that like right. literally this is what i have you know right uh -huh. uh, rather than literally starting from zero right yeah so i'll recommend more on savings, savings. i recommend also more on networks build, or friendships yeah, building, yeah. building relationships yeah Relation and build relations uh, relationships that are of worth value right. and yeah. beneficial sizile to za mshene yeah. mtaani na yeah. kuchapa kinduko <laughs> <laughs> Because, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. It, it happens anyway. Exactly. Now, uh, there's always competition. Every business faces competition. Yeah. And uh, lazima, for you even to stay at, on top of the market, mm -hmm. I remember when, uh, the, I think I, I, th I use an example of uh, Bugatti a lot. Bugatti, when Bugatti came, uh, they don't have much competition, though. They yeah, can make yeah. just one car yeah. and sell it to one person, then they'll still make a million still dollars. Make, yeah. And still, on a Zafunga show, part of Shao Zamoja. Mm -hmm. It's like they don't have so many competitors. Yeah. But Easy Magari Zingine, they have so many competitors. Juzi Siju Gani Metokia next. And it happens even in businesses as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. next and But you have to compete for the same client, same market, and still be able to make something for yourself. Yeah. How do you handle competition from other branding companies? And positive competition, <laughs> <too> negative. <laughs> See, June and, uh, I uh, had somebody else and I'm going to say, I'm going to business here and uh, down. Mm. Does it happen? It well, happens. it happens. Right. It really happens. And it, it happens a lot, yeah. you know. Yeah. But, uh, God wouldn't give you something that he won't uh, help you manage through and all that, you know. Okay. And uh, I'll, I'll still narrow it down to, yes, there's so many people in the industry and all that. Right. But uh, the beauty of it or the good thing about it is having an identity, right. uh, you as a company or as a brand, right. you know. And when I talk of an identity, uh, there may be someone else who does the same exact job that I do, you okay. know. But... Uh, in terms of services, someone right. will still recommend my services or someone will still recommend his services, you know. Right. So basically, it's like build an identity, an identity in terms of how you do your services, okay. how you also, uh, how, how quality are your goods, you know. Right, because the at quality. The, exactly. At the end of the day, it's not just about making sales and all that. Or profit. You know? Exactly. For us, we'll, do want, money, we'll, yeah. we'll really want you to feel the worth of your money. Okay. You know. Right. So I'll narrow it to like basically building an identity. Right. Yeah. Uh, you're also a model, or would you say you're an ex-model or you still <laughs> continue to be a model? I'm still, I'm still a model, I'm yeah. still a model. A, a we talk about that because, you know, that in relationship even to even owning a business, they're uh -huh. like totally two different careers as well. Okay. How did you like, did you stop the modeling to start a business or you started the business and went into modeling? Uh, I've, uh, I've, I've, uh, I've been a model for a while. Okay. I'm still. Uh -huh. uh, Modeling has been my thing since okay. then. Since then, back in school and all that, and then people are like, ah, but there you can venture uh -huh. into modeling and all that, you know. Right. Um, it's just that uh, people always have that Kawan thing, apart right. from what they majorly do, okay. that uh, they are so passionate about. about you know? So I've always been passionate about modeling because right. I actually love, I love fashion, you know. Right. Uh -huh. So that in that uh, extent of loving fashion like right. it makes me wanna model for different various brands you know right and uh it has also gotten given me opportunity right. to to be uh models with great uh clothing companies you know talk uh, -huh. uh talk of lcy kiki mm -hmm. uh, which is a very very big brand uh, talk uh -huh. of uh, Kiemo menswear, which right. is also a, 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 a menswear that is coming up so big. Uh -huh. So uh, modeling is also part of me. It's also part of yeah. you. Yeah, and it's you're going to do it for long. Exactly. I, I can see there's a, there's an uh, there's an awesome photo of you right there. Uh, this is actually uh, uh, this was actually styled by uh, Kiemo menswear. 
Oh, this is uh, the, the, the whole outfit is actually from Kiemo menswear. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's like a leather coat. That is a leather the jacket. Uh -huh. And then there's the shirt. And then there's the jeans. Uh, right. The rugged like jeans. Yeah. And rugged then we jeans. have the chest boots. Oh, so yeah. how much in total are these? <laughs> 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 it's, uh, I think, uh, almost uh, the leather jackets go around for 55. Uh -huh. But they have they have different uh, different uh, varieties. Okay. Uh, there are shirts you can get them uh, with uh, from fifteen hundred to two Gs depending on the type of uh, shirts. All right. The jeans you can also get them from uh, fifteen hundred to three thousand depending right. also with the type of jeans and all that. All right. Then the your chest boots go for forty five hundred. Okay. Yeah. I have three questions for you and then we end it. Uh, okay. one, uh, one of the questions is, uh, since you're a fashionista as well, uh, okay. what, what do you think is the biggest fashion mistake that a lot of men make in terms of combining you know, ensembles or outfits before you get out of the house? Mm -hmm. Like, what, what do you think is common? fashion. Uh -huh. How do you combine outfits? Because I believe it's also coordinating outfits, different yeah, outfits, yeah, yeah, and, and, exactly. and match. Right? Uh -huh. I think uh, I think I'll just narrow it down to get to know yourself, okay, and get to know your body, okay. You know, uh, like for me, maybe a, a baggy jeans wouldn't look good on me, but okay. it will look good on someone else. Right. You know, maybe uh, a designer. Um, a designer t-shirt wouldn't look good on me, but it will yeah. look good on someone else, you know. Right. I'd narrow so you it. go for custom made as compared to like Gucci, Versace, Yves Saint Laurent? Well, I'll say I love more of custom made. Right. Because custom made, you can literally customize yourself. yourself yeah. <laughs> yeah, Make like, it to your own fit design. A, a, exactly. Yeah. So, uh -huh. uh, but for designer, you see like, uh, uh, whatever one. we have here. This is actually now, this is an LC Waikiki. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. the t-shirt, the jeans, and the shoes, and all that. Okay. So uh, I'll just narrow it down to get to know yourself. Okay. You know, maybe on, like on your end, you love more of uh, official wear. You know, right. uh -huh. for me, I'm more of casual. casual you know, right. you see, when maybe I do official kind of looks a bit like I've literally stressed myself. Yourself, uh -huh. yeah, I've you're not comfortable. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. there's one of the guests uh, we interviewed like a couple of months ago before after the election. I was say, fashion is emotion. So how you feel exactly. is we see it in how you dress. <laughs> exactly. All right. There's a way you'll want also to be addressed. There's a uh, there's a way you'll also want to uh, to have your outfit towards a certain event, right. a certain place. Dressing for that. the occasion. Exactly. Right. It's funny, like you, you're dressed for a wedding in a ripped <laughs> jeans and everybody's <laughs> in a, in like, a Yeah, it, it, it kind of looks like you, you don't know exactly. You know, yeah. Yeah. You're confused in short. Yeah. Second last question. What is that one lesson that you've learned in business and handling all these things, interacting with people that you'd say, this is what I have learned and I think it's very important. Anybody who, who's watching right now, take this to the bank for free. Wow, wow, wow. Entrepreneurship. One thing I'll say, entrepreneurship is an unending journey. Right. Like entrepreneurship <coughs> is an unending journey. You may think you have it all, but uh -huh. by the time you're getting maybe to tomorrow, right. something else comes up and then uh -huh. you have to re-strategize. Okay. You know? Uh, the reason I'm saying like it's an unending journey, uh, you have to be comfortable enough to like run with seasons. Okay. Uh, when I talk of running with seasons, like you have to be well prepared enough. Like, uh, what if this month I don't make sales, you uh -huh. know, I still need to push my business and all that. Right. You know, so you 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 get com uh, you, you you also don't get comfortable. All right. Don't get comfortable. Uh, always be on the look. Always uh, do research. Uh -huh. um, always try out something. Right. Entrepreneurship is also risking. Right. Get sure, to it, risk. It's risking. It's yeah. risk taking. Get, say. get to risk. You, to be you dirty know. Must be a risk taker. Yeah. You have to. You have to be a risk taker. Uh -huh. And uh, just uh, just do all your level best to go out of your ways. Right. You know, uh, enduring the process is a bit much hard. Yeah, somebody said, uh, 
Uh, nasema, ku embrace, embracing the process is a lie. <laughs> you know, embrace the process. Yeah. Actually, so many people have been like, I think yeah. uh, it's high time the process should now be trusting me. Yeah. You know? Don't trust the process anymore. Let exactly. The process trust so yeah. you, but you have to go through it anyway. Exactly. Right? So it's right. just a matter of enduring the process. Right. And the more you endure the process, uh, the more it gives you confidence and to the where muscles you, exactly as well. it the builds knowledge. you up and all that so that right. even by the time you are in your first year and right. your third year the right. challenges you're facing in your first year you can actually evade them so easily in yeah. your that yeah, yeah because third, yeah. exactly because, because you already have experience exactly you already have the know-how yeah, yeah and also get to interact with also uh entrepreneurs get to know how they are they they, they are doing their business get right. to know how they run their things okay. uh that's all right uh, uh before b before we get to your social media what is the worst mistake that you will never do before you say where well, people can find you faster faster a uh, second what is the worst mistake you can never do Worst mistake I can never do. Right. Ah, uh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Faster because you're out of time. <laughs> Worst mistake I can never do. Okay, 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 okay. Worst mistake I can never do. I think giving up on myself. Now that's nice. That's inspirational. Giving up on myself. On yourself. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, uh, tell us your social media. Where can people access your business as we exit? Before I sample two, three comments. Okay. Uh, so you can uh, literally get us on all social media platforms. Uh, the business uh, social media uh, platform of uh, Grand Boss Money Ventures. On Instagram, uh, you can get us as, as Grand Boss Money Ventures. And uh, on Facebook also as Grand Boss Money Ventures. If you also uh, want to reach us uh, via call or WhatsApp, you can re uh, reach us out via 0745684516. And you can also reach out to me on all my social media platforms at Pinto underscore Pinius on Instagram, at Pinto Pinius on Facebook, and uh, Pinius Pinto on Twitter. Absolutely. And thank you for that. Let me just sample of uh, just two comments. I know we are out of time, but it's important. We had asked you, if you want to start a small business, where do you think is the best place to get your capital? And Koki Joby, Unasema, good morning, tuned in from Nairobi, Kibra. Thank you so much. Dalis KE2, Unasema, good morning, tuned in from Juja. Mungina, uh, Unasema, I start by borrowing a loan, JJ Ozengo. Uh, then lastly, Chris Juma, Unasema, me, I think I can get it from my friend. And I love the fact he also mentioned building friendships. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Pinto. Thank AKA, you. Oh, Pinto is the AKA. Uh, <laughs> actually, <laughs> the AKA is the blessed son. Oh, the blessed yeah, son. Yeah, they call me the blessed son, Pinto Pinius. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for coming through. Uh, we wish you the best of luck in the world. Thank we you We'll be so rooting much. out for your business as well. Thank you so much uh, for giving me this opportunity. I don't yeah. thank you for granted. Right. Be blessed. Thank you. You're welcome. And on that note, we'll call it a day. You can continue to interact with us once again on the hashtag Why in the Morning everywhere on all our social media platforms. My name is Brian Sankwa. Like I always say, grab yourself a bottle. Right now, you should grab yourself a bottle of coffee because it's cold or water if it's applicable. And mind your business. See you again on Thursday for Thursday Vibes.